Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kate Santana. I am a wife and a mom of almost two and a half year olds, Olivia Joy, and I am 36 and a half weeks pregnant with baby girl, Eden Elizabeth. And today I'm just gonna film an update for you that I'm not planning on editing too much because I'm exhausted and I feel incredibly close to giving birth. I'm actually on bed rest, which I'm gonna get into in just a second. And um, this may be the last video that you get before Eden is here. So just a quick like little catch you up. Um, I started having some cramping around 33 weeks, like felt like menstrual cramping happening, um, but it wasn't very regular. And within the past like week or two, there have been some moments where it's picked up into like regular waves, which is not good <laughs> um, because I'm not yet considered full term. I would still be preterm if I went into labor now. Uh, my midwife will deliver us at home starting at 36 weeks and five days, which is like 36 hours from now. <laughs> so we are trying everything that we can to just make it to that point so that we do not have to go in to the hospital and we can have a home birth. Um, today is February 28th and actually a month or two ago I had a dream and in the dream the only thing that I saw was just Olivia holding her baby sister. Um, she was like wrapped in a blanket and I just saw that image and I knew in the dream it was March 5th. So in my mind, I'm thinking she's going to come on March 5th, but we will see. Um, I definitely am having like some tightening this morning. I actually just feel pretty nauseous and like not that good in my stomach just like digestion wise, not necessarily um, cramping or anything, although a little bit of that too. The baby has been moving like pretty intensely, I guess. She also feels, she just moved as I said that. <laughs> um, she also feels like she's up really high right now and she moved up a little higher than she was, which is actually probably a good thing to get her to stay in there. So basically, I want to say I've been like off and on bed rest, but the past few days I've been taking it really seriously because a few nights ago I woke up and was having like consistent waves of cramping and I felt really nervous that we were going to like really go into full blown labor and end up in the hospital. So um, since then I've been just super careful about doing anything. Uh, my in-laws are here watching Olivia right now. My sister has watched her. My parents have watched her. People have been cooking for us or we've been getting a takeout or Andrew has been cooking just because we don't want to risk um, an early birth. Once I make it to Tuesday, which is the first day we would be okay to have a home birth, I'm planning on moving again, walking around, like bouncing on my exercise ball. Not bouncing, but like, you know rolling around on it or whatever um and just kind of going back to normal starting my red raspberry leaf tea all of that but I'm not going to do that until we make it to Tuesday so we shall see um obviously it feels like labor is close but we could be doing all this and then like she comes in three weeks uh because she is not due until March 25th due so we really have like a month still but it just really feels like um, my body is getting ready to give birth soon. So I wanted to show you just a few of the last minute things that I have done around the house to get ready. We are literally in the home stretch here and should she come on Tuesday, um, we are ready for home birth completely. So I want to show you kind of where we're at with everything and what I have set up ready for her and um yeah that's gonna be it i just wanted to update you guys let you know how i'm doing since i didn't want like three weeks or four weeks to go by without a video um as soon as she's born obviously i will update you guys and hoping to get a birth video um some pictures hoping my sister can be here for the birth and she will be our photographer so Eden's room is ready to go for the home birth. This is where the pool will be set up. My midwife is going to bring the pool 
at my appointment next Wednesday, or if I go into labor on Tuesday, then she would bring it on Tuesday. So we're gonna have the pool here. And then I'm planning at least maybe to labor a little bit of early labor in the chair with the footstool there and with the ball. I labored in the chair with Olivia through early labor and it was nice. Um, we had our cleaning ladies come in and actually deep clean this room. So it is now totally ready to go. There's nothing really that needs to be done in here for this to be ready for birth. So these are some old king size sheets and old towels that my grandmother gave me um, because we need them for the birth in case things get a little messy on the bed. So this will be on top of our normal sheets and then some old towels. So that is ready to go as far as birth goes. So this is actually a bathrobe that I bought. I wanna show you a belly shot here. And our room's a little messy, but um, this bathrobe is just for after I get out of the pool or like a nursing robe, etc. So I got an organic cotton robe, which I will link down below, um, just for comfort after birth. So this is baby's station or little bassinet area, which will be pulled up right next to our bed once she is born, but I'm just giving myself some walk space now. So it has this huge bassinet and then an even smaller one inside where she is gonna sleep in the beginning. I have her outlet charged, some blankets, and a sleep sack and things like that. So she will be right next to my bed. And then at my little end table here, I have a nursing basket ready. I actually, do need to sanitize the haka, the breast pump, which I haven't done yet, but I probably won't use it the first day or two. So many clean burp cloths, <laughs> which are super important. The gel pads, which I had to use a lot last time, and a few um, reusable nursing pads, but I didn't like those as much last time, so we'll see. And then this is like a heating pack, a heating pack that I can use in case I have any discomfort while I am nursing. Um, yeah, so this is all set to go for baby. So last thing is that I have this notebook filled out for care for Olivia. I have her bag packed. I'm just not going to show it to you right now, but, um, this is basically a lot of the things that she needs. So <laughs> she loves beet chips. So I want to pack the slicer for her, her probiotic and immune drops that go in her drink. I've already packed her ballet and tutu or ballet shoes, sorry, um, snacks, which I have a brown bag in the pantry ready to go for her. Her sound machine sleep sack. Her dodo is like her little toy she sleeps with. Her PJs, um, some diapers for nighttime, a few favorite books, pants, shirts, underwear, socks, shoes, a brush for her and a detangler and hair ties her morning basket and her toothbrush and toothpaste. And then um, in here, I just have notes on like things that she likes as far as food goes, things that she likes as far as like her routines, etc. I'm actually gonna write a little bit more in here to explain like her hair um, and just basically anything that my parents would need to know about caring for her. I have also written out a like labor checklist for my husband so that he can stay organized during labor with the things that he needs to do, including what he needs to grab for Olivia to pack her bag, my hypno babies tracks and where to find them, uh, what kind of snacks and drinks he should be offering me, um, things like that. So, um, so he feels prepared and he has something to look at because I, realize after my first labor that I am not very responsive once active labor starts and he can ask me questions and I just kind of like I don't give very good answers <laughs> when I am in active labor so uh, I have that written out for him I have what else have I picked out oh we got our birth kit in the mail yesterday which I will show you at some point but I don't want to go downstairs right now because again Olivia is happy with my in-laws I don't want her to see me so I will show you that at some point, probably. Um, and that's about it. We are ready to go. So I hope you enjoyed this update. I hope that the next update is telling you all about our wonderful birth and new daughter. I hope you guys are well, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.